I've always been interested in uh, the construction of musical instruments, and especially in designing musical instruments uh, and thinking up sort of new ideas and what you might call improvements, <laughs> which are you know just not really improvements. They're things you want to do to bring the instrument closer to what you want from it. So, uh, because I had a contact for many, many years with Indian music, where you find instruments which make extensive use of what we call sympathetic strings, uh, which are strings which vibrate to, on their own, together with the melodies played on the main playing strings. This is very common in almost all in Indian instruments. This is something which was found in Western instruments in the Middle Ages, quite a lot, but as orchestral playing developed in the West, the concept of sympathetic strings disappeared because they're not suitable for an orchestral suiting as a situation. Um, they tend to make too much uh, uncontrolled harmonics, shall we say. So I wanted to do some experimentation with the lira with sympathetic strings. And as I discovered, this was not a new idea at all, because, for example, in Bulgaria, the Bulgarian lira, Gadulka, uh, does have sympathetic strings. It has 12. And I also noticed that the old Cretan liras would have one or two, and in some cases as many as four sympathetic strings. So this was not a new idea. But what I wanted to do was incorporate elements of the construction of the Indian sarangi into the Cretan lira. So I did a few experimental models, and came up with one which was quite successful, in, in my opinion, uh, in which I had the three main playing strings, and I had 18 sympathetic strings. Stelios at that time was uh, young, and he was studying Lyra, but he was also taking an interest at that time in the building of instruments, and he was trying experiments on his own. So he made a few, and then he kept on working and developing it and developing it. And we would quite often, you know, work together. And I would sort of tell him some of my ideas I'd have. And uh, so this particular model, which we now use, developed gradually out of this uh, collaboration and out of experiments over the years. Uh, He's one of my students who I feel particularly proud of because not only did he learn to play, I mean, he studied lira with me, for example, and Saz, uh, not only did he learn to play these instruments, but um, I think that uh, his very open-minded approach to the creation of music and to working with musicians, different musicians, and uh, finding ways to work together and uh, creating new ideas and new sounds, uh, I find particularly interesting and I think he does it very, very well. So uh, I particularly like his work. Uh.